soak in my beans. No, they're not going to do anything. And they're just going to soak for the next probably 8 to 12 hours. And that's it. Well, look like my beans soaked up a lot of the water. Probably should have put more in there. But that's the way it goes. Huh? Okay, now I added an onion, chopped up, and, oh, it was a medium, I think, yellow onion, and three whole bay leaves, and I'm about to add the ham hocks, smoked ham hocks. There they are, about two and a half pounds of smoked ham hocks. Now I'm going to add six cups of water and chicken broth. Not sure how much of each. Probably about half and half. I think that'll do it. Maybe a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder. Um, and I think that'll do it. Maybe about a teaspoon of each. And then I'm going to let it go for eight hours maybe six to eight hours i'm gonna check it at six hours on high in the slow cooker but we'll we'll check it part of the way through Alrighty, see y'all soon okay that's halfway through i already stirred it so Okay, there's a four zucchini and two medium eggplants. The eggplant, some of them were like, some of it was kind of brown looking, but it's been uh, sitting in salt for a little while, so maybe that's why it's all brown. But anyway, I'm sure it's still plenty good. I'm about to fry it up in some butter along with some onion and garlic. And I'll be mixing it up with some cream of mushroom and panko breadcrumbs. I'll update as I go. There's cheese and other stuff. <laughs> I am sizzling. Lots of garlic. Pretty good. <laughs> She's pretty full. This may turn out to be a disaster, but we shall see. I'm going to be cooking this down for a little while. Hmm. I'll see what it turns out to look like. I'll show you before I uh, disengage. 
Okay. So. Okay. We've got two cans of cream of mushroom. And I'm about to add some Cajun seasoning. And it's just random store-bought Cajun seasoning. A little bit of garlic powder and onion powder. And then a whole eight ounces of sharp cheddar. And um, not sure how much, but I'm going to add some breadcrumbs once I get the vegetable mixture in there. We'll see what it looks like when I put it together. Just before adding breadcrumbs. Let's do this. <laughs> That's my baby before cheese. I'm fixing to top it with some medium cheddar. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Here we have some cured Hormel salt pork. And it is the pork belly, basically. And I'm gonna dice that up. And that's what I'm going to cook my collard greens in. Probably with some green onions and a little garlic. Okay, there's my salted pork belly, cured salted pork belly. Um, big thank you to those kitchen shears. Couldn't have done it without you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got the meat in there. Send some butter and olive oil. Yeah, it's probably gonna be fatty, fatty. That's okay. Man, and I should have had some extra chicken stock for this. Or chicken broth. And I'm gonna fail at collard greens. But I'm pretty sure they'll taste good anyway. Well, whatever. Doing my best, but I can't remember every dang thing. <sighs> oh well, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, that's my beans. It's hard to see for all the shadows, but... <laughs> my finished plate. Holy cow. Hey y'all. Mm -hmm. I've been working hard today. Oh man. I'm having some southern goodness today. I don't know if y'all can see all that and I don't want to tilt it up too high but I got some southern style pinto beans that I cooked in the slow cooker um, some collard greens well I also got a big old ham hock up here <laughs> that I cooked along with my pinto beans yeah I don't know if y'all could see but I, I made some cornbread and I failed at my cornbread and it broke all to pieces so I just put it up under my pinto beans I didn't make rice or anything like that but I didn't feel like having rice with it I like rice with my red beans and I made a, a eggplant and zucchini casserole there's a whole heck of a lot of cheese in that like 16 ounces of cheese <laughs> I got some sliced fresh tomatoes 
and a few slices of ham up under there, but you can't even hardly see that because I got so much food on my plate here. But yeah, I cooked uh, I cooked my collard greens in uh, salt cured pork belly, good old salt pork, and I got my bamboo spoon here. Oh, what to dig into first? Oh, I'll get that bite. I'm gonna get a bite of my collard greens. Mm. I think Rommel wants a bite too, but I'm about to bite him. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> right, who's about to get a bite? <laughs> All right, come on, cutie. Cheers. Mmm. 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 I didn't add no salt to it because that salt pork was such seasoned. It was seasoning enough. Mmm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, that came out good. Lord have mercy. Mmm. Got a Arizona real brewed Southern style sweet tea. And I'm sitting over here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So, you know, good Southern sweet tea is difficult to come by so I'll take what I can get mm. Mm. I should have grabbed my bamboo straw that would have been nice I don't need no stinking straw Mm. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, indeed. Mm. Got some lemon in that. Pretty good. All right, y'all. And right here, I got some Miss Campbell's sweet chow chow then I'm gonna try with my beans but first I'm gonna get a taste of them without it mm. some of that cornbread up in there yes indeed mm. Mm. Oh, that smoked hot. It really seasoned the beans up good. I didn't add no salt to it either. Mmm. Mm, got my bamboo. Let's <clears throat> see this. Oh, that's not working very well. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my don't don't get off my plate there. Well that's not gonna cut into that fat meat very good. I might have to save that till the end. <clears throat> oh, that's gonna be good though. Oh, oh, I can't wait to suck on that fat. <laughs> get a big hunk of meat. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh my god. Man. I got a humongous plate of food here. It is just super big. 
Oh, I was worried that wouldn't even open good. When the delivery people delivered it, I tossed it over the gate. Oh, man. Ooh. I'm going to put a big pile of that right in the middle. Two big scoops. Taste of that. <laughs> Some of my beans and my cornbread. I'm gonna lose a bean. Don't lose a bean. Yes, indeed. What even does Chow Chow have in it? Ingredients. Cabbage, vinegar, water, sugar, red bell peppers, dried onions, contains 2% or less of citric acid, Salt, lactic acid, spices, turmeric for color, and xanthan gum, which, you know, those other kind of weird ingredients are like preservatives. You, know, you always got to put some of that stuff in, in stuff when you package it. That's just the way the world works now. If you was making it at home, you wouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a big spoonful. Big bite. Mmm. Time to get a big taste of this eggplant and zucchini casserole. Y'all watch me make this stuff, so <laughs> y'all know what it's got in it. Mm. And I hope it's as good as I think it is. Mm. Mm hmm. 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 Okay, I use the panko style breadcrumbs. <coughs> you know what I wish I would have done? I wish I would have crushed up some Ritz crackers in it instead of breadcrumbs. I bet you that would have been better. I didn't have no recipe for this. I did this all in my head. Ritz crackers would have been better. Hmm. It would have given it a little more texture. That's good. That's good, but... Hmm. But it could be better. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Sloppy. Mmm. 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 And the eggplant still got a little tiny, tiny bit of texture to it. Which is good. 
Hope a tomato. <clears throat> mm. So of course eating this kind of food reminds me growing up. Mm. And my grandmother she made beans all the time. Mm. I was terrible for pieces of that I the skin. kinds of beans, not just pinto beans. Um, white beans, navy beans, mm, red beans, <laughs> you name it. having something good for Sunday supper. You know, fried chicken, smothered pork chops. Mm. Shoot. Oh yeah, she was always a good cook. tomato you know because my granddaddy and I, I probably said this a dozen times my granddaddy his contribution was his fresh vegetables from the garden fresh tomatoes and cucumbers and excuse me stuff like that or she would have cooked up a mess of green beans or squash or something like that that he or okra 
that he had grown himself. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. 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 I'm really happy those collard greens turned out good. Mm. About as good as any I've had. I mean, any I've had since I've been here, I'll put it that way. Probably not as good as, as I've had at home. Or, yeah, and I call Louisiana home because that's, you know, that's where my family's buried. So. It'll kind of always be home. Kind of proud of that. <laughs> did pretty good. I definitely did them justice. Well, there's two big old bags of collard greens. Hmm. For those of you who fast forwarded through the cooking part. <laughs> knife ain't too awesome I'll give it that <laughs> but cut a little bit mm. Mm. Oh, that's my ham <clears throat> I believe it was Amos Presley that encouraged me to cook this meal, and I want to thank you. <laughs> I am so happy right now. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been cooking all day long, so I'm about wore out. But it was worth it. 
and we're gonna have leftovers for a few days <laughs> but that was worth it too mm. Me, Lord, that was a soul burp. <laughs> I'm like totally in the zone right now. No time for conversation. I'm just eating. gob of fat that was so juicy and it's off the ham hot mm. turn this around a little bit
Do you know it's, <clears throat> it's after six o'clock? Cooking all dang day. This is the first thing I'm eating. <laughs> and I'm getting full. <laughs> but of course, you saw the mound of food that I had. Talk about intermittent fasting today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I feel you, dog. <laughs> you might get a few bites. You just hang on. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't gonna get much. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna leave me no bones either. I don't know if you have these bones or not. Mm. 
No bell, huh? <laughs> no one's there. It must have been the wind that put the uh, gate open. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, I told the, uh, the guy that brought the, uh, <clears throat> the weed to close the gate, but he didn't. I don't guess. No, that was me. Oh, that was you? <laughs> yeah, I'll close it shortly. Oh. I was the last one to open the gate. Oh, I see. Oh, damn. I thought I closed it all the way, but guess not. Must not have latched. Oh, damn, my belly. <sighs> Jesus, I guess I did get way too much. Oh. It's gonna take me a long time to eat all this. Ooh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's normal. We just don't normally get ice. No, I know. <laughs> no, I was just I was just about to get started again. <laughs> I was like pausing for the You do realize you don't have to eat everything on your plate, right? No, I know. <laughs> I was going to eat a couple of bites of this skin, and then, then I was going to take a little break. Because mm. mm. mm, the skin's like one of the best parts, in my opinion. And it's like the skin's all full of the fat, and like goopy goodness. 
Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Okay. And that one more little bite right there. And put a tiny bit of chow chow on it. Let's see. And then I'm going to save the rest of this. Well, I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to nibble on it for the next probably hour. <laughs> Slowly. Oh, man. How do you describe pork fat? It's unctuous. Just unctuous. Mmm. 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 Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I needed a moment. <laughs> but I am very happy right now. my southern Sunday dinner y'all will be seeing this on a Saturday more than likely and I want to thank y'all for joining me this takes me back back to my childhood with my good old granddaddy and my nanny good times good memories um and if your people are still living and uh, <laughs> and they're not jerks or anything <laughs> be sure you respect them and pay attention to their stories and pay attention to them in the kitchen or in the yard or wherever they're trying to teach you something because they got a lot to show you and they got a lot to they got a lot to offer um I thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending time with me. And I love you very much. Bye now. Mm -hmm.